Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today I'm going to show you how to play Titanic's theme song, My Heart Will Go On. I've got so many requests for this one. And this arrangement is in standard tuning. All you need to do is put a capo on the third fret. Uh, it's not in the same key as the original track. It's in a different key, but it sounds nice. So just put a capo on the third fret and you're ready to go. Okay, so if you want, you can also have a rolling capo for this arrangement. I don't have one which is why I'm just using a regular capo. But as we come towards the end of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do that if you want to extend the arrangement. All right. And this arrangement is not that difficult to play. So, you know, if you have a little bit of experience in finger style, you should definitely uh, try this. So let's get right into it. Let's see how to play the intro of the song. So we start by doing a slide from 1 to 3 on the 2nd string. Now you're going to do another slide from 3 to 5. So the, uh, the frets are in relative to the capo, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, right? So slide from 1 to 3 on the 2nd string. Then do another slide from 3 to 5. But this time you're going to play 5th string open along with it. Now. So we're doing a pull off from 1 to open on the 1st string, we're doing another pull off from 3 to 1 on the 2nd string. And now, so here we're having 3rd fret on the top string, 3rd fret on the 2nd string. Pick them together, then pick 3rd string open, then pick 3rd fret on 1st string. Okay, so from the beginning, okay, now, so here we're doing a pull off from 1 to open on the first string. You can either do a pull off or you can play them separately. You can do that or, okay, and then. So here we're picking top string first fret and first fret on second string as well. So I'm using my thumb for that. It becomes a lot easier if you use your thumb. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have problems doing it this way or this way. Okay, so just use your thumb. Okay, and now. So we're still on F. And what we're doing is we're having third fret on fifth string, okay, and you're doing a hammer on from open to third, open to second fret on third string at the same time, right? Picking both those strings together, doing a hammer on, and then so this is open on third string, third fret on fourth string, okay. So let's take it from here. Now you come to G, so this is 3rd fret on top string, along with that you pick open on 3rd string, pick them together. So from over here, and then, okay, and now what you can do is this, this is optional, I like to do it, 4th string open, third string open then first fret and open on second string okay so let's play everything that we've learned from the beginning so far now you do this So let's learn this first. You can see it's pretty similar to the one that we did first time. Doing a slide again from 1 to 3 on 2nd string. And again doing a slide from 3 to 5 along with that picking the 5th string open. Here we're going to pick that 5th 
fret one more time sorry so okay and now instead of the next time what we're doing is this okay so you can do a hammer on and pull off on the first string from open to first fret and a pull off okay and then it's the same pull off from three to one on second string okay so next time if we put that all together doing the second time right and then and now this is also the same third fret third fret on fifth and on top and second string together third string open and third fret on first string now here's what happens next playing open on first string you do a slide from three to five on first string now I'm doing it with my little finger because I have to now use my index finger for putting my index finger on third fret or fourth string right that's why I use my little finger for doing that slide so once again open on first string slide from three to five then pick that fifth fret on first string and along with that you're going to pick third fret on fourth fourth string okay now you're picking third fret and third fret on your fifth string and the first string second fret on fifth string third fret on second string okay so that completes the first part of our intro we've got three parts in the intro we've just learned the first one now you know if you want you can go straight to the bus you know that's what is usually happens but I've added some other parts as well which I I think sound really nice and they are also there in this official soundtrack so let's review let's play everything once again from the beginning that we've learned in the first part of the intro Now the next part that we're going to learn will go like this. All right. So, second fret on third string. Open on second string. Then put your A minor chord on, 2nd fret on 4th string, 2nd fret on 3rd string, 1st fret on 2nd string, put that chord on. We're picking 5th string open and 2nd string together on A minor chord, right? 5th string, 2nd string together, and 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string again. So, after that, open and open on 2nd and 3rd strings. All right and now so you've got third fret on top string pick that along with that you can do a hammer on from open the second fret in the third string All right pick those two strings together do the hammer on then you pick open on third string and second fret on fourth string again so let's take it from over here So this is 3rd fret on the 4th string, open on 3rd string, now put F major chord on. Now you only need the top strings on the F major, so the 1st fret on top string, 3 and 3 on 5th and 4th strings and 2 on 3rd string. So you're picking top string and 3rd fret to get 3rd string together, 
fourth string, third string, fifth string, fourth string again. So, and now, so this is open on third string, second fret on fourth string, okay. That's what you have till now. And now, so come back to third fret on top string. Along with that, you're going to pick fourth string open together. And then third string open. Then one and open on second string. Okay, so once again, let's play the second part of the intro all over again. Now we're going to go into the third part of the intro. The third part of the intro will sound like this. Then we start with the verse. All right, then the first shape that we're using is third fret on fifth string and first fret on second string. You're going to pick so fifth string, third string, second string two times, okay, and third string and fourth string. So Now the only thing we'll change next time is the first note. The bass note will move from 3rd fret on 5th string to 3rd fret on 6th string. Everything else will remain the same. So top string, 3rd string, 2nd string 2 times, 3rd string and 4th string. So from the beginning for this 3rd part of the intro, change the bass note to top string. Now change the bass note from 3rd fret to 1st fret on the top string with the help of your thumb. Everything else will remain the same. Okay, so. Now you come back to G and you do this. So this is top string third fret and first fret on second string and the strings that you're going to pick are these so this is top string then string three two three two okay six three two three two so these are these are the strings string number six three two three two and two again but first but open on two so six three two three two open on two second string okay so from the beginning for this third part of the intro okay now open come to open on fifth string open on third string first fret on second string two times then third string and fourth string open so and now so this is third fret on top string open on third string first fret on second string two times back to third string open so in the very end you pick third fret on second string Okay, so from the beginning. Right, that's what we've learned so far. 
and now so it's the same thing that we learned before on this position first fit on top string open on third string second string two times and third string fourth string right now in the very end so this is the very ending of this part top string third fret open on third string first fret on second string two times right so and then open on second string and that completes our third part of the intro. Let's play everything once again for the third part. Come to G. Come to F. Back to G. A minor. A. Back to G. F. And in the end G. Now we start with the main song. Now the first part that we learn going ahead in the main verse is this. So we start on C major, 3rd fret on 5th string, 2nd fret on 4th string, open on 3rd string, and 1st fret on the 2nd string. Okay, you're going to start by picking 5th string and 2nd string together. Then 3rd string and 4th string. So, and then, so this is 2nd string. All this is happening on C major, all right? Second string, pick, pick that by itself. Then, again, pick fifth and second strings together. So from the beginning. And now, so this is fourth string and second string. So from the beginning. And now you come to G and you do this. So this is 3rd fret on top string, alright, pick that, along with that you're going to pick open on 2nd string. And now you pick 1st fret on 2nd string, alright. And now, so this is 4th string open, 3rd string open, 4th string open, and 2nd string 1st fret. So. So from the beginning, and then, and now you do this. So this is top string first fret, and second string open, pick them together, and pick first fret on second string, okay so, and now, so this is 3rd fret on 4th string, open on 3rd string, back to 4th string 3rd fret. So, in the very end you do 3rd fret on the 2nd string. Okay, so that's what you have. Now when I come back to this part on F that we did, this little part on F, I've played this differently. In, at different times during the song. So you can either do this that I just taught you, or you can do this. Or you can do this. Okay, so there's different things that you can do. Let me show you the variation. So what you can also do is, first fret on top string, open on second string, pick them together. Then first fret on second string, and then third fret on fourth string, and do a hammer on from open to second fret on third string and then come to third fret on second string so that will be okay and the other thing that you, that you can do is 
instead of going directly to the third fret you can do another hammer on from one two three on the second string okay so there's three ways to do it the first one was without any hammer ons that was the next one was with one hammer on and the other one was one was the one with three ha two hammer ons right two hammer ons so don't get confused you know because i've played it differently um, in different times in the song so from the beginning so far what we've learned is this and then and then okay now we're going to learn this so come back to c major put c major chord on so this is fifth string and first string picked together right second string third string right all on c major and then so you put g chord on third fret on top string third fret on second string doing a finger roll top string third string and second string finger roll like that and come back to first fret on second string so okay so from the beginning if you put that all together all right now the next time This part is exactly the same that we learned during the first time all right so I don't have to show it again the same thing that we learned in the beginning and the G is also the same now here's a change so let's see what's happening over here first you're doing first fret on top string and open on third string together and then so third fret on fifth string third fret on fourth string and second fret on fourth string and third fret on fourth string so and then open and second fret on third string all right Now you come to G and you do this. So top string third fret and second string open, pick them together. And second fret on third string and open and first fret on second string. So and then the very end. So this is third fret on second string hammer on and pull off from one to three and three to one on second string so like that and then for open and first fret on second string so if you put that all together on F you have and then come to G okay so that's what we've learned so far now we're going to again play everything from the beginning uh, that we've covered in the verse from the beginning. And then play once again on C. As you can see we just played everything one more time this was the first segment of the first part that we learned so this was basically again going to see everything was the same G F 
chord you can do this on F and C same thing finger roll on G and on first fret of the second string so that's what we have till now all right so to avoid the confusion I'm gonna play one more time everything that we've covered from the beginning all right so watch carefully I'm gonna play it slowly and you want to mainly watch how the patterns are be patterns are being repeated because I've taught every single pattern that, that we've covered so far so want to make sure you you uh, focus on when it's repeated so start from here from the beginning this time now repeat everything all over again C G F C finger roll on G right so that's what we've covered so far now you're gonna come to A minor and you do this So that lick is a little different than the lick that we did the last time. And then that covers our entire verse. Then after that we go to the you know the, the chorus of the song. So this time on A minor, what's happening is so put your A minor chord on, second fret on fourth string, second fret on third string, first fret on second string. Pick fifth string and second string together, third string, fourth string, all right, and then so first, first, sorry, second string. Let's take it from the beginning, okay, once again, and now so fifth string and second string together picked again third string and second string so from the beginning right that's what happened what happens on a minor one skin then G will remain the same let me show you once again it's the same thing that we've been doing before on G um, third fret on top string and open on second string together first fret on second string so then so fourth string third string fourth string open and first fret on second string again so and now come to f and this lick is a little different than than the one that we did last time so this one goes like this So this lick on F, we're going to call it lick number two. The one that we did before was lick number one, which went like this. Right, this is lick number one that we use on F. Now this one after A minor and G, we're doing it a little differently. So to play this, what you're doing is, same starting, top string first, fret, open on third string, pick together. And now... This is also the same, 3rd fret on 5th string, 3rd fret on 4th string, then 2 and 3 on 4th string, right? And then open and 2nd fret on 3rd string, and then, so this is open on 2nd string and 3rd fret on top string, pick them together, 1st fret on 2nd string, 3rd fret on 2nd string, open on first string okay then the very end so this is third fret and first fret on second string okay we now we've covered the entire verse now we just need to take a look at the next part which we're gonna call the chorus so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play everything that we've learned from the beginning 
till this point. Basically, I'm going to play the whole verse. The chorus goes like this. Okay, so you start on A minor chord, open on 5th string, 2nd fill on 4th string, 2nd fill on 3rd string, 1st fill on 2nd string. Okay. So you start by picking 5th string and 2nd string together, 3rd string, 4th string. So, once again, 5th and 2nd strings together. So. Skin fourth string, then open on third string. Right, so from the beginning, I come to G. So this is three and three on sixth string and second string. Play six and second strings together. Third string, fourth string. Okay. Once again, sixth and second strings together, then fourth string and third string open. So, right? So from E minor, G, and now, so this is first fret on top string and third fret on first string. Pick them together. Then second fret and third fret on third and fourth strings. So third string, fourth string, and third string again. And then so this is top string first fret, and along with that first string, but on first string you can do a pull off from three to one. So then open on first string, then third fill on second string. So let's take it from A minor, G, and now, okay, and then, so this is third fill on top string, open on fourth string, third, open on third string, and open on fourth string again. So, G, F, and now, so this is open on first string and first fret, and then, so put A minor chord on, alright? First string and fifth string open together, second string and third string on A minor. Alright, so. And again open on first string, so. And then. So this is open on fifth string and third fill on second string together. 
third fret, third string, sorry, second fret, all right, and first fret on second string. So from here. From the beginning on the chorus let's play everything that we've learned so far a minor G F okay now you come to G so we've learned this part before in the verse on G let me show you once again open on second string and third fret on top string play it together first fret on second string all right then fourth string third string and fourth string open okay once again first fret on second string and now you're going to pick play f chord and on f you're going to do lick number two on f if you remember we did that in verse as well Lick number two on F, F on F. So just play that. So that will be. Let's take it from G. Now lick number two on F. Play that. Okay. Now let's revise everything that we've learned for the chorus from the beginning. I'm gonna play everything once again. A minor. repeat the whole chorus that we've learned so far all over again except lick number F oh, sorry except lick number two on F so let's do that Every, everything all over again on chorus F sorry A minor G F G A minor Instead of that F flick, all of that, you're not going to do that. The second time on F, you do this. So, you know how to play this. We learned that this same part in the verse as well. Right? Top string, first fret, open on second string, pick them together. First fret on second string. Third fret on fourth string, open on third string, back to third fret on fourth string, right? And third fret on second string, then the same part C, remember this? Then finger roll on G, right? So C major, fifth string and first string together, first string is open, second string, third string, G finger roll, come to first fret on second string. Okay, so that completes our chorus. So let's see what happened during the second time in the chorus. Let me show you once again. A minor, this was the same. G was the same. F was the same. Pardon F C finger roll on G. Alright, that ends the chorus. Now I want to play the whole chorus once again, the first part of the chorus and the second part of the chorus, so you understand how the whole thing sounds like. Alright, let's take it from the beginning for the chorus. A minor. G. Back to Imana G Back to F Imana G F C G with finger roll. That ends.
occurs. Now, you come to the ending of the arrangement and that ending will go like this. That's the whole ending that we have to learn now. So, start with this. So you play third fifth, put your C major chord on, all right? Pick fifth and second strings together. Third string, fourth string. Then fifth and second strings together again. Okay, so. Now, this is same as intro. Pull off from 1 to open on 1st string, pull off from 3 to 1 on 2nd string, G, same thing as the intro, 3rd fill and 3rd fill and 2nd and top strings together, 3rd string open, 3rd fill and 1st string, and now here's the difference. So this is 3rd fill on 2nd string, open on 1st string. Now put F major chord on, so this is 3rd fret on 5th string, 3rd fret on 4th string, 2nd fret on 3rd string, and 1 and 1 again on 2nd and 1st strings, right? So, 3rd fret on 2nd string, open on 1st string, and now, so this is 5th and 1st strings pick together, 2nd string, 3rd string, 4th string, and now, so, this is 5th string 3rd fret and hammer on from open to 2nd fret on 3rd string, right? Pick them together and open on 3rd string and 3rd fret on 4th string, alright? Now come to G, so 3rd fret on top string and open on 3rd string, pick them together and now, so this is 4th string open, 3rd string open first fret on second string and open on second string right so let's take it from the beginning for the ending and then and then G all right that's what we've learned so far now so the same thing as the intro slide from one to three on second string again slide from three to five along with that fifth string open and then so once again it's exactly the same thing that we learned in the intro as well the hammer on and pull off on the first string pull off again come to G now here's the difference That's the only difference, that little pull off from 3 to open on 1st string. So in the intro of the song we were doing, now over here in the ending we are doing, right, so there's a little pull off from 3 to open on the 1st string, then do a slide from 3 to 5, then pick 5th fret on 1st string, 3rd fret on 4th string together, together. And then three and three on fifth string and first string, and then second fret on fifth string and third fret on second string. And then end the arrangement on C major. Just do a finger roll, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. Okay, so that's how you can end the arrangement. So now let me play the entire ending one more time.
Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, you can extend the arrangement by having a capo uh, that's a rolling capo where you, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, roll the capo to one fifth up and then play the whole arrangement from the verse all over again. That's if you want to extend the arrangement. All right, so at what point do you roll? That's what you want to know. So basically, if we ended the arrangement uh, like this, just keep playing. Now, instead of ending and doing finger roll on C, just leave that out from here. Shift the capo one fret up and start playing the verse. You can now play the whole song, you know, if you want to extend it, whatever we have learned from the verse, uh, from the verse, go to the chorus and then end the song the way we ended on that third position. So let me do, do that for you, just play it a little. Like I said, play the whole thing. Okay, so that's how you're going to extend the whole arrangement by just uh, moving the capo to one fret up. So that is all for today. For my heart will go on the Titanic theme. I hope you liked the lesson. Make sure to check out how to play more fingerstyle arrangements. You can find them in my channel, and there's also a playlist for that. So thanks for all the comments, all the likes, all the feedback. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna see you guys in the next lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.